Hi there, folks. Been a while since I posted a video. This could be my last, depending on how this next project works out. I've built a Lichtenberg fractal wood burner. And I've read a lot of this and seen a lot of this on YouTube. And all the experts keep warning people how dangerous it is. Fooling with 15 or 20,000 volts of electricity can be really hazardous and can probably kill you. But that being said, I have a master's degree in stupid and thought I'd give it a try anyway. What could go wrong? So to all my friends, it's been nice knowing you. Okay, just to show you that the wire is unplugged and here's what I did. I have a standard wall switch here that when flipped on will light up this this uh, compact fluorescent light so we absolutely know whether there's power to the transformer or not. This is the transformer I just took out of my wife's new microwave. Told her she has to use the regular oven for a while. And if I'm not here, she can use my life insurance and go buy a new microwave. I have the electrodes attached to two aluminum nails. Aluminum is a better conductor than steel nails. I'll eventually get some alligator clips to hold it on. I've painted the wood with a solution of baking soda and water so that we can get some good conductivity on the electric. And I'm ready to plug it in and give it a try. So we'll do that now. All right, I have the plug plugged in. I'm gonna reach over and turn the power on. And we'll see what happens. The bulb is lit and I'm getting some reaction here. Not too much. I'm gonna turn it off, add a little more water and baking soda, see if I can get a better connection. The power is off. I'm gonna pull the plug. All right, I've got the plug plugged back in. Added a little more water and baking soda mixture to the surface of the wood and I'm gonna turn it back on again. So far so good, no smoke, no fire. And I'm still here. Nothing significant happening. Got a little bit of a burn here. I'm gonna disconnect everything and try moving the nails closer together. Okay, back at it again. I decided to try a different kind of wood. The southern yellow pine that I had has a lot of uh, waxiness built into the wood. Um, this is a piece of poplar. I've reattached the nails and soaked the wood on the surface with some baking soda and water solution. I've got it plugged in and I'm ready to throw the switch again. Power on. Seems to be another dud. I'm gonna try moving the nails closer together. All right, I'm ready for attempt number three. I've re-wet the wood. I've added nothing. I just moved the nails closer. All right, I'm ready for attempt number three. I've re-wet the wood and moved the nails closer together. They're about seven inches apart. Plugged in, I'm gonna throw the switch. I'm 
Not much of a reaction except for that first fizzle. I'm gonna go back to the drawing board and I'll be back at you in a little bit. Power off. All right, I'm back for attempt number four. This time I added a little more baking soda to the solution. Wasn't thinking maybe I had it mixed up strong enough, but here goes shot number four plugged in. Flipping power on now. That's a better reaction. Interesting. I'm going to sand it down and uh, see what it looks like. All right, back for one more test. I sanded the wood from the last test. You can see somewhat of a pattern. Not too happy with the big scorch marks. But I've reattached the nails in different spots. Applied a little more water, this time just directly between the nails. I am plugged in. And I'm going to turn the power on. We'll see what happens again. This is going pretty good. This is more what I've seen on YouTube. That's about enough. Power off. Flame out. I'm going to let the water dry on this and then I'm going to sand it this time. All right, one more time. This will be my last test for the day. I've got here a piece of very hard, very dry red oak. The other piece of wood is very soft poplar. I don't think that got me the result I want. So now I'm going to try it with a piece of hardwood. I'm plugged in. I've wet the surface again with the baking soda mixture. Here goes nothing. Power on. It appears to be just drying the surface near the nails. I'm gonna shut the power off. Oh, there it goes. Took a little longer than I expected. Very cool. It appears that softer woods don't burn as well. Very cool. Gonna take some more experimenting, but I'll be back again. Thanks. And happy Thanksgiving to everybody. After a little light sanding, this is what the red oak looks like. Pretty happy with it. Need to experiment a little more and work it into some of my other projects. Thank you for watching.